Hey there guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talk about how to create list balls inside of Excel and how to use list balls in Excel with VLOOKUP formula. Alright, in today's video tutorial, we are going to talk about how to insert check box in Excel. Basically, a checkbox in Excel is available in the developer menu tab under the control section here. Okay, checkbox are used for ticking right for choosing any option. When you use checkboxes, it means the option is applicable for which we have a checkbox. Then we can check into them by just clicking on it it will then take it as a tick mark and it can be deselected by clicking on it again we can fix the cell for which we want to have a check box from the format control section okay now to insert a check box in the there we need to make sure that the developer tab show on the ribbon right here so if you can't see it here just right click anywhere anywhere on the ribbon and go to customize the ribbon okay now after the, after that you will see a pop-up window where you will simply click and uh, simply uh, click the developer tab box right here and press ok but in my own case i have already done that okay so i'm going to press ok so once done click on the developer tab and then click navigate to the insert option here where you will find where you will find what we are looking for which is the check box okay as you can see, as they hover two set of control you can use. The first set is called the form control. Okay, these are for simple use. For example, if you want to just display a checkbox in, in a worksheet, so this option is available for you. Okay, below is the active control. Okay section for a more advanced view you can customize them in a situation when the basic form control cannot do okay here we will focus on the simple use or uh, of form control so we select the check box from the upper set of control right here okay so click on the check check box under the form control the cursor change it into a plus, plus sign you can see a plus sign there and we can insert the checkbook wherever we need it okay let's insert in the cell c4 right here okay you can okay you can see that there's a frame okay you can see it says around the checkbook so it is easy to move the check Move, is this to is this, is this to move the checkbox or change or remove the default test so let me let me change the test and uh, the check the test inside there to what to done okay let me change it to done okay good okay but keep in mind that the frame also mark the active area of the checkboard if you click anywhere within the frame the boss will get tick or on tick okay here the area extends beyond the cell border you can see right here so it will it is said if you stretch it it will extend it beyond the cell border okay now i'm going to click anywhere on the she's to leave the editing mode check boss okay now now when i click on the active area which reaches beyond the checkboard even the cell where the tick appear you can see in the checkboard so now to unselect the checkboard i need to 
click it again okay then but but the size of the active area can be a bit a problem here that is why it is important to make sure that the size of the active area is adjusted as needed as as possible to be able to allow the copy option active to the rest of the words rows at the right hand side here and drag to the desired list number okay to edit the checkboard just right click okay just right click here okay just right just right click on it and you will see the option for editing use this little cycle okay here to set the size the size of the area so once done you can copy okay once done you can you can, um, you can copy the checkbox to the rest of the row in the table simply click on the cell containing the checkbox right here you can see just simply click on it okay so once once you do that then you can then drag it to the wall then drag it bottom right hand corner down all the rows in which you want to display the, wall, the check box you can see now to remove the the box just right click just right click on the area again okay just right, right click on the area again and select the cut option okay you can see and that is it please note that the checkboard con checkbox control can only be activated by unlocking the developer tab option right here and in the customized ribbon section also checkbox need to be aligned to the desired cell in addition checkbox needs to be assigned to a specific cell for a cell to read the value if you find this bit to tutorial helpful give it a like and watch the, my other video tutorial by Lenezel T thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as I'll keep giving you more of the Excel function. Okay, bye.